In today's video, I will update you on a pretty serious winter storm that could dump inches to feet of snow in the Great Lakes and the Northeast just in time for your Christmas travel. Therefore, I'll be providing your travel forecast. Then the polar vortex is about to bring a historic Arctic outbreak that could send temperatures tumbling down to as low as negative 35 degrees with wind chills as low as negative 60. So in this video, we'll break down those details so you can be prepared and aware. Welcome back everyone, it is David Schlothauer here, your weather expert. Before I do get started, if you're new to the YouTube channel and you really like these detailed videos, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and sharing this video with your family and friends on social media. Okay, so here's a look at the detailed European global computer model for Sunday afternoon, December the 18th, 2022, and we can see what the weather pattern is looking like because I'm going to give you a very detailed travel forecast as a lot of folks this coming week are going to be going on Christmas vacation leading up to Christmas Eve and Christmas Day as as a massive winter storm is brewing and it will lead to significant travel delays as well as cancellations. You definitely need to be paying close attention to this video. And so going forward here for this afternoon, looking pretty good. Some lake effect snow does continue over upstate New York, Lake Ontario, Lake Erie, Lake Michigan, getting a little bit of that. And here is our next system, believe it or not, in Washington, Northern Idaho and Northwestern Montana. While it doesn't look like a big system at all, it's going to bring in a lot and a lot, immense amounts of cold Arctic air, possibly on historic levels, more than likely that's going to end up happening. So we can see this on the European model. So by the time we go into uh, Monday afternoon, we can see pretty good conditions. That storm kind of fizzles out, but the upper level energy is still there over the Pacific Northwest. We got a little bit of rainfall that could cause a little bit of problems if you're in uh, portions there of Louisiana, if you're in Southern Mississippi, if you're in Southern portion there of Alabama and portions of Texas. But overall, your travel forecast looks pretty good with minor impacts on Tuesday or on Monday. It is not until we get into Tuesday when the pattern really changes. We can see first where that system actually is here. This is the big guy. This is going to be the guy that is going to make national headlines on social media because we have a very big winter storm that is not only going to dump a lot of snow over the Midwest and the Great Lakes and the Northeast, but this system is going to bring in historic amounts of cold Arctic air. I mean, temperatures could be as cold as negative 45 degrees in some areas of Montana, Wyoming, and even the Dakotas. So this really is going to be making serious headlines, okay? So your travel forecast, if you're in the Pacific Northwest on Tuesday, could be moderate to major um, on roadways because we're talking about moderate to heavy snowfall, strong winds, possible blizzard and whiteout conditions because of that Arctic high that's to the north that's going to accelerate the winds out of the northwest but wait until you see on the uh, on Wednesday this is when it really becomes a problem so we're talking in light to moderate snowfall strong winds here over the Dakotas over Minnesota over Wisconsin so get ready for a lot of problems on the roadways. If you're doing any traveling on this day, you're gonna have a lot of delays. Do the traveling, uh, go anywhere with your family on vacation before Wednesday. So do that tomorrow and Tuesday. Look to be the best days if you're in the Northern Plains. And tomorrow would be the best day to do any traveling if you're in the Pacific Northwest. Because once this system ejects off the Northern Rockies, it is going to go ape. It's going to go crazy. So let's go into Friday here and we can see this is how the system is going to evolve. Actually, Thursday afternoon. My bad. I went a day forward. So your travel forecast for your Thursday, December 22nd, the uh, second day into winter. It's going to feel like winter out there because of all this heavy snowfall, very strong winds. We are talking about wind gusts that could reach 40 to 50 miles an hour. Could even get close to 60. And on top of the heavy snow and cold temperatures, 
you will have to wait and see these wind chill values because they are sickening to look at. So this continues all the way into Thursday. Let's go into Friday morning. Very dynamic system. Five days out. This has been locked in on the models for a while. So I think it's time to say this could be in an extreme serious winter storm. This will definitely earn its name. This is definitely going to have strong winds with it based on the tight ISO bars. We're going to see blizzard conditions. We're going to see blowing snow. It is going to be very cold up there across the Great Lakes and the Midwest because of all the cold air that's going to come out of the north. Very, very dynamic system in place here, and that's going to lead to a lot of problems. All right, so that's Friday morning. Let's go into, say, um, Saturday would be the day. So literally Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are the days to not do any traveling at all. I would highly discourage it, folks. If you're doing any air traveling, you could your plane might get canceled or could be significantly delayed. And we all hate when we're delayed or when there's a flight canceled. So make sure you plan around this winter storm because this is going to be some very heavy lake effect snow coming off of Lake Michigan because of how much cold air there actually is going to be and a very dynamic system so we're going to be looking at very cold temperatures and um, very strong winds it is not until we possibly get into christmas eve when things get a little bit better for the great lakes um, further south if you're in the desert southwest road travel should be fine except it's going to be extremely cold out there so keep that in mind if you're doing anything outdoors make sure you really bundle up and so by Christmas Day, looks pretty good, right? Not much going on across the United States. Still lots of cold air in place here in the wake of that low pressure system. We turn more zonal by the end of the forecast. So all the way into perhaps Monday next week on December the 26th, the day after Christmas, we might have a little bit of another snowstorm, but this one doesn't look to have as much cold air with it. And with more wet weather and stormy conditions, maybe back across the West and the Pacific Northwest. Now my job is to make sure this weather forecast is as accurate and honest as possible. So therefore we are now comparing models. So this is the GFS or the US GFS model that I like using a lot. And this is painting a pretty similar picture with what we might have. So here's a look at Wednesday again. Travel is somewhat discouraged over the Northern Plains. If you're in the Northern Rockies, please avoid travel if you can, because it's gonna be cold, it's gonna be snowy, it's gonna be windy. Yeah, definitely dicey road conditions and air travel. And then of course, here is a look at Thursday. So literally the day, a couple of days after, or the day after um, the shortest day of the year, the first day of winter, very cold temperatures, very strong winds, but look at what the GFS has, a much more dynamic system over Indiana. So a little further south, a little stronger on the GFS than the European model, but it's, painting the similar scenario that we're gonna have a very dynamic system. And I mean, this is going to be extreme. We're gonna look at major to extreme impacts, especially over Illinois, Michigan, Indiana, possibly Ohio and Wisconsin. And then on top of that, we have another big snowstorm that could develop on the GFS in about five days over Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. So extremely active weather pattern to end this work week. It's going to be busy and again, it might be busy enough for me that I might be doing two videos a day if necessary. So I'm still considering that because of how active this is going to be. And this continues all the way to Saturday and Sunday. So both of the global main models are really honing in on a very powerful system with very cold Arctic temperatures and more on that in just a bit. Snowfall totals on the European model are pretty insane. This is very concerning, especially in uh, portions of Lake Michigan and um, Lake, um, Lake Superior, that is, way up there. We could be seeing snow amounts anywhere between 36 to 48 inches. That is literally two to four feet up there. Whoa, that is very, very substantial. And Northern Indiana, maybe one to two feet of snow, including for Michigan. So if you're all in this area, folks, this is going to wreak a lot of havoc all the way into uh, Ontario and Quebec, Canada, gonna possibly see as much as two to almost four feet 
yeah, it's going to be measured in feet here, not really inches. And then, of course, feet of snow over the Pacific Northwest with a couple of snowstorms that are going to sweep on by through Christmas Day and Christmas Eve. So keep that in mind if you're doing any traveling, especially across this portion of the nation. Could be very, very dicey and expect significant travel delays with maybe a few road closures possible, especially in the mountains of uh, Wyoming. If you're in Montana, if you're in Washington, the Cascades, roads are prone to closing up during heavy snowstorms. So keep that in mind. All right, so now on the GFS model, more significant, a little further south and a lot more snow over Missouri, over say, if you're in Nebraska, if you're in Kansas, if you're in Oklahoma, I mean, this is really wicked. I mean, you can't get any worse than this. I've seen worser snowstorms than this, but with the cold air on top of this and the strong winds, this could this could rank among one of the strongest winter storms possibly certainly this year and it could rank one of the strongest in a couple of years for some locations so yeah this is what we're really concerned about especially this area too all the way from illinois into michigan indiana could get one to two feet of snowfall that is a lot and that is going to really lead to travel impacts this includes for your area ethan i know you like going out there and tracking these winter storms but really watch yourself all right please because very heavy snow fall strong winds will lead to blizzard conditions and i would highly discourage you going out there and being out in the snow because this could really be a big problem and last thing i want you to do ethan is get stranded okay so please don't be one of those people all right okay now time for the arctic temperature forecast because things are going to change it's already cold across the northern tier of the united states with several reports coming in with temperatures as cold this morning as negative 5 to negative 10 well guess what it's going to be even getting colder than that by monday morning here's a look at your temperature negative 10 to negative 15 degrees in many areas according to the gfs model a lot of the coldest air is to the north so it's not here yet with temperatures in the 20s and 30s across the upper midwest with temperatures even close to the single digits in some areas of the higher elevations of the northeast if you really want warmer weather you got to go down literally towards miami florida that's where you're going to find temperatures in the 70s woohoo for your monday uh, morning and then it warms up nicely look at that um temperatures in the 80s in miami look at these temperatures still during the day very cold and this continues all the way but it's not until we get into Wednesday morning when these wind uh, when, uh, air temperatures really drop. Negative 36 degrees in portions of northern and central Minnesota. We can get close to negative 40 degrees in northern Montana. And also for central and northern portion there of North Dakota. Very cold. But if you are down here across, again, the Midwest and the Deep South, temperatures are going to warm up nicely into the upper 30s to mid 40s. So not too bad. Actually, no, wait. That's more morning lows oopsie so daytime highs here there we go uh in the low to mid 50s so at least it's gonna be pretty nice but if you're up here to the north you're not gonna get temperatures out of the negative territory it's gonna be cold all day all night it's gonna last for a while so get used to these temperatures all right wait until we get into <laughs> yeah into thursday wow these are very serious temperatures in the negative 5 to negative 30 degree range north say of kansas and iowa very cold for thursday morning and then some areas here negative 40 negative 45 in montana but it's only going to get colder look at these temperatures by the time we go into friday morning wow i mean you got temperatures negative four degrees as far south as northern texas um southern um oklahoma wow this is absolutely historic we could be looking at historic low temperatures for Friday morning. And then, of course, for the Dakotas and for Montana, negative 35 to negative 40 degrees. So, definitely going to feel very cold out there. I mean, bundle up if you really wish to go out there and experience it. 
Okay, and this continues all the way into um, Saturday or Friday afternoon. Temperatures probably not e even getting above negative 25. It's going to be lower than that, negative 30 during the day, and then possibly negative 40 degrees at night. And most importantly, look at how cold it's going to be in uh, portions of the deep south. Temperatures in the teens at night. Temperatures uh, right around negative 5 to negative 15 in Indiana. Portions of Tennessee, negative 5 to negative 10. This is going to be brutal. It's going to be a really big problem. Uh, even Indiana, negative 30 degrees potentially at night. That would really be historic. And it, does, it finally warms up after that. As far as our wind chill values go, wow, these are insane insanity chat let's take a look at these i'm gonna fast forward it all the way through let's go all the way into let's go back here you can see for wednesday morning um temperatures negative 40 to negative 50 degrees it might feel like so the wind chills are going to be much worse than the actual air temperature because we have strong winds to deal with okay so that's going to make things feel um, mighty, mighty worse, okay? So make sure you, keep, um, you are aware of that. Make sure you're prepared. Stay warm. Dress up in layers because you're going to need that. So by Thursday morning, wind chill values negative 66 degrees. Um, on a couple of the model runs previously on the GFS and the European have actually indicated wind chill values could dip as low as negative 75 degrees in portions of Wyoming and Montana. That would be obliterating cold. I mean, I don't know what other word to use it. It would be psycho cold, in another word. So this really is very concerning. These wind chill values right here primarily. Wind chill warnings, you bet, <laughs> are going to be issued with this uh, type of Arctic outbreak. And then this gets all the way into Kansas, all the way into the Midwest. It might feel like negative 40 degrees in Kansas City. Might feel like almost negative 50 in Iowa as this Arctic air really spreads its feet all the way across the uh, northern plains and the Great Lakes. One I want to backtrack right here primarily. Wind chill values right down here across portions of Louisiana and Texas could be negative zero, negative one degrees. So that's really how far um, that Arctic air mass it might feel like that extends okay so serious i mean oh i just pray i just absolutely pray and pray that folks are ready for this because it's going to be brutal the heavy snow strong winds going to be something else now another big story with this weather system will be the strong winds as you can see i've been mentioning it in previous videos that these winds are going to be really strong especially by Friday, uh, where sustained winds here in portions of Illinois and Indiana could be anywhere between 40 to 60 miles an hour. Look at the winds over Lake Michigan here could be on the order of 50 to 60 knots, close to hurricane force on this low pressure system. And that might still be possible depending on how this all sets up. So literally, we're talking about damaging winds, cold temperatures, blowing snow, yeah, uh, just stay inside. Just stay inside if you can on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday because you're not going to want to be out there. So get all of your um, um, food from the grocery store while you can because this system is going to have a lot of power with it, a lot of wind um, uh, with the storm. Now, the reason why we're going to see so much wind is, of course, we got a tightening pressure gradient, but we also have a very, very strong um, upper-level dynamic low-pressure system. I wanted to show you all this because this is very extreme. This is a polar vortex literally making its reach into the deep south. Yeah, I said that right. Into the deep south, an Arctic outbreak. Because of this trough is so dynamic, we have a lot of the um, left exit region um, jet stream um, energy that is being ejected. And look at the jet streak down here, 150 knots. So you can really um, believe why this system is going to be so intense all the way into the weekend into the northeast so a christmas day christmas eve snowstorm madness extreme temperatures um, that we're looking at because of that dynamic system that's in play then hopefully things do thaw out because this 
is going to make headlines. You also want to know who's going to make national headlines on this YouTube channel? Is David Schlothauer here? If you want to get the very latest information on this winter storm on an everyday basis, I got you covered, folks. Please consider subscribing right now, hitting that like button if you're new, and also leaving a comment in the section below and sharing this. Got to get this out to a lot of people. You have done pretty good, folks, on my last couple of videos as those two videos have reached 25 to 50,000 viewers. So that was awesome that you guys shared it and liked it. Let's get this video out even higher. Let's get this up to 65, 75, even 100,000 people because this is serious. But anyways, thank you all for watching and I'll be back with you more tomorrow with another detailed update on this massive extreme Christmas snowstorm.